popular or are you not? So in this video, I will be talking about the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy. So I got all dressed up in this sundress and this flower crown, especially for this book trilogy. Uh, let's get started. So when I bought these books, I was expecting um, a sweet, hazy kind of romance, like that will give me all cozy feelings and that stuff. But because like Jenny Han also has written the Twelve Boys trilogy, and I was expecting something like that that would be cute and everything. But when I read this, I actually had different. It gave me totally different vibes. Okay, so first things first. These are the three books: The Summer Turned Pretty, It's Not Summer Without You, and this it, and We'll Always Have Summer. So up to now, I read these books like a couple of weeks ago. And up to now, I really can't say if I'm disappointed in them or I just like them, but I'm really not sure what I feel about them yet. Because like, okay, so I like the books. They were, no, they weren't cute exactly, but anyway, I like them. But they weren't what I was expecting because like for starters, it wasn't as cute as I imagined. It wasn't that summary. And I had a feeling that the old thing it's not summer without you will always have summer it wasn't it wasn't only for the you know for the love stuff it was also in general for all the family that went to this beach house okay fyi this book <laughs> i forgot to say it um it's practically the plot is about a love triangle between this girl and the two boys she meets uh, at the beach house she goes to every summer and she has known them since she were since they were kids. So having read that plot, you expect it to be something real sweet and kind of cute and that thing, don't you? Like, am I the only one who had that feeling? I don't know. This beside behind these books, it said that this is a book that has everything a girl wants in summer. So I was expecting a cute romance, a relaxed thing, and it wasn't like there were there was an illness in between and there were problems like divorce and stuff like that. And it was really more serious than I thought it would have been in the beginning so that it was a, a sort of realistic love it wasn't so much like the Twilight Boys trilogy uh, romance this more fantastic like uh, Swanee Worth romance or something like that it was more realistic and it had more ups and downs which I think were more believable I'm so confused with these books I really can't say if I, I I did like them it's not that I didn't like them and that's not the point it's just like I'm confused like whether I am kind of disappointed in them because like I was expecting this uh, sweet romance and they're different from them. for everyone who is thinking of reading this uh, you should know that these books aren't that kind of sweet romance so there is a real sweet romance in it nevertheless but it's not centered up on that thing. I don't know, oh my god, this review sucks. Like, you know what, it sucks because like, I don't even know what my feelings are for these books. I'm so confused about them. I don't know, I'm, I'm just confused. It's kind of ironic that I dressed up for this video so summer-ish because like, they aren't that summer-ish. And I think the point of this video is to tell you that um, so maybe you were expecting a girl who goes every year at this beach house and has, uh, has fun with the boys and they splash water on their face all the time and that stuff happens and they're still in kisses and everything. But it's not only that. It has this melancholic vibe in it, which the two of the boys hadn't had and I was, I was based on that when I read this. So I was really surprised when I read this and realized it wasn't like that. Like, yes, it had a sort of melancholy. And oh, and also I can't help but feel this book's also like talked a lot about the um, having uh, lo lost someone or something that held uh, an important place in your heart and coping with that and coping with the changes that time brings. And um, yeah, like seeing through this girl's life and the changes that happen in it with all the things that life is throwing at her face um, leaving stuff behind leaving stuff you thought you would never have to leave behind and i really like um, 
understood what she meant because this year was real strange and I, with all this thing, the virus going on, I had to like not do a lot of stuff that I was expecting to do and I had been doing for a long time in my life, like every single year actually. And so I really got to understand her and in the end I was like, oh my god, she's like actually talking about my life and at some points. And yeah, even though it wasn't the romance I was expecting, I was surprised, not in a bad way. It was actually just a different, a refreshingly different actually, uh, romance kind of romance. Because it wasn't the all uh, swoony and kind of that story. It was different. And maybe it wasn't that bad that it was different. Because like, if it wasn't, it would have been like all the others with all the kisses and all the stuff. And in fact, this was this kind of coping with the changes and coping with things that you have to decide and all that stuff and i think that it was even though i wasn't expecting it as i told you i think i'm surprised in a good way okay so this is my review for the summer uh pretty trilogy and i hope you understood you kind of understood what i meant to say in this video i hope you did because i don't know if i did so i hope some of it made sense and uh, that's all i'll see you in the next video and that's all for me now bye